All right, kids, here we go. So today I'm going to show you something that I've been getting a lot of requests about, and that is how do you do closed captioning? I've been getting a number of messages repeatedly about it, and I've been meaning to do it, and I just have not had the chance to get around to it until now. People have been going, oh my God, I have a commercial and it looks great, but I, I don't know how to do closed captioning and the TV station is asking for it. And I'm not really sure if I need to hire somebody or is it hard or is it easier? It's actually really easy. So I'm going to show you how to do it. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is in Premiere, we are going to go to the sequence menu, which is the fourth from the left hand side. So we're going to click that and we're going to go all the way down to captions, which is at the very, very bottom. And on the right hand side, we're just going to scooch over here and we're going to click add new caption track, which is control alt A. If you prefer. All right, so what we're gonna do is in this particular case, we are gonna leave most of this crap alone. So the stream is gonna remain CC1 because we're just gonna do one English language track in this particular case. We don't need to worry about style. Now, caveat here. In North America, a lot of places are now starting to use CEA 708. However, some stations have not upgraded their ingest servers yet. So if you want to be really, really safe, pick CEA 608 and that will work. The standards are for the most part the same. 708 gives you a, a few extra options in terms of how to make it look. But if you want to be absolutely safe, as I say, pick CEA 608. And that is what I'm going to pick in this particular case. So just leave that. And now we're going to hit OK. So now what it's done, you can see a new caption track has actually been put here and you can see it right there. And now we're going to do one more thing. And this is something that's changed in the recent versions of Premiere Creative Cloud. And it's a little annoying because it used to not really bother with this step. So if you're used to it or if, well, frankly, if you've seen it before, you're probably not going to need this tutorial, but for those of us that are, it's a little annoying and this is an extra step, so maybe it'll help somebody. So anyway, now we've actually created our caption file. And the next step we need to do is we need to go back to sequence and we need to go to captions. And now we need to say add caption at playhead. And the reason for this is because we actually need to be able to see the caption that we can adjust. And so we can double click on that and it's gonna basically show us the caption here. Now I already had it open, but if you had some other toggle or control here by double clicking on that, this is going to option uh, open up the caption window, option up the caption window. I don't think option is a word, but it is now. Uh, and now it's fairly straightforward. So I'm going to take a clip of just, this is me just doing some voiceover samples because I do some voice acting too and I'm just doing some characters from various anime series. Yes, I am a nerd. Yes, you can deal with it. Anyway, so right off the bat what we're going to do is I essentially I just need to hear where it starts. So I'm just going to play it. If you move your foot this way, if you move your foot this way, for some reason, I'm just going to double check something here. If you move your foot this way, if you move your foot this way, if you move your foot this way, so I know. If you move your foot this way. So right off the bat, I know that if you move your foot this way, is going to be about this long. And you can see what's happened here is it's actually adjusted that. So I'm actually now going to change this. I can do it right in here. So I'm actually going to type, if you move your foot this way. So this is actually a little bit different because it didn't used to display it this way. It used to be in a black box. But right off the bat, we now know that it's here. So I'm just going to play that. I'm going to shorten it a little bit so that it has time to start. If you move your foot this way. This and then now I'm going to make another caption. 
and then I will adjust it. And it starts right where I put my playhead. So what else is said here? This is the best situation we could hope for. This is the best situation we could hope for. So now I'm going to take that and I'm going to adjust that. And then I just need to do it so that I can see it. And I'm going to adjust it. This is the best situation we could hope for. Oh, and right off the bat, there is not quite enough room. So what we're going to do is we actually need to either present the second line. But I don't actually like that that much. And this is a good opportunity to show you what we can do. So, right, because people need to be able to read it at approximately the speed that it's being said. This is the best. So I'm actually going to cut this to this is the best. And then I'm actually going to get rid of it, the rest of it, and I will make that its own. Actually, you know what? I'm going to do situation. It might help if I was able to spell it properly. That's better. So we'll cut it off at this is the best situation. This is the best situation. So you can play around with that timing a little bit. And then we're going to create one more. And that will be the end of the sentence we could hope for. This is the best situation we could hope for. This is the best situation we could hope for. So that timing is nice. And then basically you just keep doing this for every line. Hope for. We'll make another one. For. He won't see it coming. He won't see it coming. And then we'll just update this. He won't see it coming. And we'll test that. Help for. He won't see it coming. All right. So right off the bat, we can now see all of the captions. And if you look at it here, you can see it. If you move your foot this way, this is the best situation we could hope for. You won't see it coming. And that is how it's done. So now what we're going to do is we are going to export our clip in such a way that we can actually see it and then it's embedded in the track. So I'm going to show you how to do that right now. So if any of you have been watching, particularly how to export your file for broadcast, we're just going to do a truncated version of that. So we're going to go to File, and we're going to go to Export, and we're going to go to Media, or Control M if you prefer. And we are going to change the format to MXF OPA or OP1A or whatever you want to call it. So that's just down here. So we're going to change that toggle. So there's a, there's a toggle that is stuck apparently in 1995 and doing AVI files. So we're going to change this format here from AVI. We're going to click on that and we're going to change it to MXF OP1A like that. And I'm going to change the preset because we are in North America and we are going to be using these standards. And I'm going to change it to XD Cam HD 50 NTSC 60i. So see where that preset is here? We're going to click that and we're going to change that toggle and we're going to bring that down like so. So down here, XD Cam HD 50 NTSC 60i, just like that. And we can see that the video codec is okay and that is how we want it. And it's upper first and 2997, which is perfect. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go to, uh, over to audio and we're going to change a few things as well. So we're going to scroll down and we're going to change our channels from 2 to 8. 
right? Because we want to make sure that they conform with our channel assignments with our project. It doesn't in this case because I'm just doing it to show you. But if you are a good boy and girl, you want to make sure that you are at eight channels. So we are now at eight channels. And now we want to go over to the third toggle, which is captions. So we're going to click on captions over here. And now we have the infamous, wonderful, magical, fantastical export options, which are currently set to none, which is not useful to us because we do not want our captions stripped. We want them included. So we are going to change that by clicking this. And we are going to go all the way down and say embed an output file. And what this is, is it does just that. It doesn't actually burn it on the video. It puts a little code in there so that anybody that's watching on TV can turn it on and off with the remote, which is the captions that you see, the very captions that you see when you're watching TV. So we're going to hit embed an output file. And we honestly don't need, I'm just going to export this real quick just to show you. So right off the bat, we're we're gonna yeah, this will be our out point. How long did I make this? I'm just eyeing it to show you. Six seconds and five. So I'll bring this over to you know what? Fuck it. I'm just gonna do it manually. I don't really feel like dealing with this stupid toggle. There we go. And then I'm gonna take set out point, uh, right? Because that's when I want it to end. And then my in point is obviously already at zero, but if I hadn't set an in point, I will do that. And there we go. Oh, and there's one other thing that you can do to make your life a lot easier, because if you are going to broadcast with this stuff, you are going to use the same setting again and again and again and again and again and again and again. So what we're gonna do is we may as well make a preset. So we are gonna call this one, da, 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 da. I'm gonna call this, Broadcast 1080. In fact, I might even give it a network title because of course it's for broadcast. That's why I'm using this. We'll call it US Cindy. I will not hit OK. So now, instead of having every freaking time having to go in there and set that again, especially if you're under a deadline and you forget. Now, you just have to go into your format, your MXF OPA or whatever, and then you're going to go to preset, and then it'll be right there. So your presets are going to be at the top. So instead of kind of going, well, gee, I don't really know if I need to be doing X, D, cam, D, D, D equals M, C, great. You don't need to worry about that. It's already here. There's your preset. And now we're just going to save it somewhere. You're going to save it somewhere on the D drive. We'll hit save and we'll hit export. And we'll let that go. So now what we're going to do is we're going to just check to make sure it's okay. And it is okay, but this is how we know it works. So we're going to go to file and we're going to go to import or control I if you prefer. And we are going to go into the base D drive right, because I just kind of put it there. There's my file, VO Fun Preview, MXF. There she is. And now I'm gonna right click on it on my mouse and I'm gonna say new sequence from clip so that it creates literally a sequence from the clip with all the settings that I've set so that I can see everything that I've done to make sure that it's done it the way I want it to. So it's gonna do that. And there we go. You can see here is our caption file right up here see so when we go over here you can see it isn't that cool move your foot this way this is the best situation we could hope for you won't see it coming there you go and that's all you need to do and if you do that it'll go to the tv stations and you've made your very own captions so i hope that helped you and if it helped you well regardless uh please do subscribe it really does help me out uh, and if it didn't help you, it should, because this is this is pretty straightforward stuff. But I do like hearing from you, and I would like to hear what your thoughts are and what you would like to see, or maybe you have other ways that you like to do it. But for those of you that are needing to provide something to the TV network, 
and you're not, you weren't sure how to do captions, now you know how to do it in a way that they will accept. So hit that subscribe button. It really does help me out. And as always, please do keep watching, and I will see you next time.